Hello again. We are going to take another look at the word toboggan. And we're going to be thinking a little bit more about syllable stress and spelling and how the two work together in the English language. When we think about stress, we simply mean emphasis. There is an emphasis on a syllable. So, here's our graphic to remind us of our word, toboggan, toboggan. But if we think about the way we say it, it's not a lot of help for spelling, but it's a big help for knowing whether or not to double before we add suffix in. Toboggan. Gun. We can barely hear the vowel sound. That means it's not a stressed syllable. And we went over that in the last lesson. But we're going to have another look at something else to do with that stress in this lesson. Okay. Toboggan. If we don't have a spelling language, what can we hear? Well, we can hear t bog n Three syllables, although it was pretty tricky in that first one to hear any vowel. It's sort of t. I can hear t. And I can hear a little bit of a sound after it. But I'm not really sure what that sound is. And this is where we will use a new symbol. This symbol represents what we call a schwa. It's an odd word, isn't it? Schwa. And a schwa is a vowel sound that you can't quite decide how to spell. And it's often really short. So, t, that's what we could hear at the beginning of toboggan. Bog, well, that's fairly straightforward. I can hear b, I can hear o, and I can hear g. That does have a vowel sound I recognise. And at the end of the word, we've got n. That same, I can't quite work out what the vowel sound is. Schwa. Toboggan. There we go. We can hear n. But we have two syllables where we can't work out what the vowel sound is. They are unstressed syllables and that means that this one bog in the middle was our stressed syllable and that's why we didn't double the n that was needed for the sound n when we added suffix in so this stress or no stress can be fairly easy to spot when we're speaking to bogan to bogan only just hear that schwa sound helps us with whether or not we double doesn't help us a great deal when we are spelling Okay, so let's have a think. And I'm going to give it a spelling language. That's why we use them. Toe. T. O. I can hear O at the end of a syllable. I know to use the letter O. Bog. No. B. I'll know which letters to use. And 
I know now that for this g sound here, I'm going to write a double G so that everybody knows that this sound here, the O, is a short vowel sound. And then right at the end, an. To, bog, an. That's my spelling language because I'm going to remember that double G. So, to, t is T, O is O, because I could hear it at the end of a syllable. Bog, B, O, G, and I've written a double G. And you'll notice the B didn't really start on the line. You'll see why in a minute. And then an. That's quite straightforward. I can hear the sounds. I know exactly which letters to write. Now, I've separated them here, so let's pop them back together. And you can see now why the B started a bit higher up. Now... We've used a spelling language to spell toboggan. But when we're speaking, we would say toboggan. Let's try another word that uses the schwa. And that always means we need a strategy for remembering the spelling. Here we are at the bottom of the sea. This is the seabed right at the bottom. I would expect that the bottom layer of the Clyde looks a bit like this in some places. So our word is bottom. And it's another one, bottom. I can hear bot all right. But that m mm at the end, I can hardly hear a vowel. So, I've got two syllables. I could hear that. Bot. M. Mm. B. O. Short vowel sound. T. And then I could hear that schwa again. And then M. Mm. Bot. M. Mm. Barely there. That is so difficult to hear. That sound there, it's really short. Okay, so let's have a think. Bot. Now, for my spelling language this time, I've got a choice. Am I going to remember that that T will be doubled to keep this vowel sound safe? And then just put O. Mm, bot, om. I could have that as my spelling language. But I could also have bot, tom. To make absolutely positive that I remember how to write this word. So, b is b. O is O, T, is T, and then Tom, Bot, Tom. That's the spelling language that I like to use so that I really can hear all of those sounds. But you might be quite happy with Bot, Om, and you know you're going to remember to double the T. The choice is yours. Let's try another word. This time we've got the word common. It's another one that uses that schwa in the unstressed syllable. First one, com. That's the stressed one. We can hear all the sounds. So, two syllables. First one, k, o, m. Mm. 
no trouble there. And the k sound was followed by o. So I'm going to know to write the letter C. But then, um, uh, um. That uh. You just have your mouth open and your tongue sitting in the middle doing nothing. Uh. Okay. Right. I'm going to have a think about this. I know exactly how to write the first bit, com. And I know now how to write the second bit because I've given myself the spelling language, com, mon. But maybe you. We're going to remember the double M and just say come on. You had a strategy to handle that schwa sound. How about the name Simon? I can hear two syllables, Sai, Mun. Again, that schwa has appeared. So, sigh must be the stressed syllable. And I could hear s, i. Long vowel sound, end of a syllable. I know how to write it. And then, m, a, n. That schwa sound again. Okay, my spelling language. Have you guessed what it's going to be? Sigh. Mon, capital S, for I, Mon. That O is much easier to identify in my spelling language than it was in the name. Simon. Okay. Now we're going to have a sentence. Very first bit. It's all about Simon to begin with. Simon is. Remember, pause the video if you'd like to and come back to me when you're ready. Simon. is tobogganing tobog double g and ing whoa tobogganing and I didn't need to double that n at the end of the word because it wasn't a stressed syllable it just went, mm. that was really handy. Next bit of the sentence, on a common. On a common. How did you get on with that bit? Did you remember the spelling language? Or did you simply remember how to write it? Next sentence. Thomas gasps. <gasps> he must be going very fast. Thomas gasps. Thomas, we can hear that O at the end of the first syllable. Thomas gasps. And that definitely needs an exclamation mark. How did you get on? It can be a little bit confusing thinking about words 
where you can't actually hear exactly which sound and that makes it really difficult to know how to spell words. So we have an explanation about why adding suffix ing can be a bit tricky when it's a word with more than one syllable and why spelling can be a bit tricky. The English language has stressed and unstressed syllables. But we'll find ways to deal with it as we introduce more words. Thank you for joining me.